Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady. I am so glad you're here. I'm excited to share this card with you. It is using dyes from the Snow Globe Scenes. I'm combining it with the Itty Bitty Christmas and I'm showing you how I used the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint too. So let's get started with this card. So the dyes are from the Snow Globe bundle. So it comes with the still scenes and the snow globe scenes dies, which is 10 dies. They work together with the stamp sets as far as the snow globe right there. That will cut that out and the little church image there. This die set works pretty well by itself. Here's a card that I've made. This is from the Itty Bitty Christmas also and it's just the dies, but it also has the fun snow globe um, little piece that you can get with the ice in there. So that is the bundle that, or the die set. I'm actually not using the bundle. I am also using the Itty Bitty Christmas. This is one of those sleeper sets. I have ended up using the dies a lot for my Christmas cards. I love the layers, the snowflake layers, the stars layers, and then it has some of them individual for you. And it coordinates with so many different greetings for Christmas, which is awesome. You can do some casual, some fun, some religious. You've got a wide range of things to be doing there. Okay, so this card, the base is a thick whisper white base, five and a half by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter. And I can set that aside. The focal image of my card is a lot of copper. I have the stars cut out from the copper and the deer cut out from the copper. And I did my all my cutting ahead of time. And I've also done a stamp to celebrate the season and did it in copper embossed. The layered circles dies are one of my favorites. I've grabbed this, it's a go-to set. I have cut out the large scallop circle and the second largest circle. Here is my Knight of Navy scallop circle. I cut out a seaside circle and then I use the Suttles 3D folder to emboss that just to get like a textured or a linen background. I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue and just glue that down to the circle. So I've cut out two of the trees. I've got a shaded spruce tree and I've got a white tree. You might wonder about the white tree. The reason I have the white, this is going to be my snow. And so I am going to just trim off those trees. I'm just using the snow and I cut it out. It's an easy way to make sure that those line up the exact same. So those are going to layer. And then I'm going to put, when I get to the point, I'm going to put my my deer in there and then we'll cover that up with the snow so it looks like my deer is kind of dancing on the snow. Before I do that, let's do some puff paint. So here is my Snowfall puff paint. Open this up. You want to shake this well and then you want to heat set this. So, and you don't want to squeeze, especially up right after you have shaken it because it seems to kind of flow pretty well and you can get some out. So I'm just adding some spots of snow. I like to shake it. You want that, that should look white. If you have just a clear area, you're not going to get as much puff. Okay, so now I'm going to take my heat tool, warm this up and heat set this and then it will do the puff. When you've heated the accent puff paint as much as you want, then I've got my snow accents. And place that down. Pull in this silicone mat because then the adhesive won't stick to the areas where I don't want it to stick, meaning on my background paper. Okay, so let's tuck that deer right in there. Here's that snow I already cut. And we'll layer that right over that. I use a little bit of liquid glue just I think I'll find it easier to get that glue in those right spots isn't that fun with the copper deer I really like that so I'm going to set that aside I've already run a piece of whisper white cardstock through the woodland folder so I've got this background embossed on here I have taken some of the seaside ink refill and placed it into one of the Stampin' Spritzers with some rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol will have it dry more quickly. I'm going to spritz this just to get some of the seaside on the background and then we'll let that dry. If it doesn't dry quickly enough, then I can use my heat tool to help speed it up. Okay, I'm adding some 
glue to the background of my embossed and spritzed cardstock. It's got a really nice layer of the seaside spray on there now, and we'll just place that down. My focal image is going to go right there, and I want to just cut. I'm going to cut this copper star image right in half because then I can just kind of pull it apart and have it on the background. So let me add some um, adhesive to the back so you can see how I've pulled that apart. And let's place the other part here in the center. I'm going to put some glue down, some liquid glue on my back of my focal piece. I have that single star and I am going to just place this down right in this corner. Here is my sentiment that I stamped with Versamark, sprinkled it with the copper embossing powder and heat set. I put a couple of dimensionals on the back side so that it'll be lifted up. It's got to sit nice. I'd like it to sit nice and even over those layers. And let's just pop that right in there. I really like how this card came together with the copper embellishments, the puff paint, and the dies with the snow globe scenes. It really looks like it's a really intense card. It took a lot of time, but it really doesn't. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.